Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. Until today we have seen some basic functions, some date functions, random generations. Today we will learn how to use weekday function. To follow along with me, download this workbook using the link in the video description. We have three worksheets in this workbook, weekday, practice zone 1.1 and practice zone 1.2. Weekday is where I will demonstrate and practice zone sheets are for you to practice. Let's begin. I'm trying to find out the day of this particular date listed in column B. To do that I have a pretty little function in Excel. I can go ahead type in weekday and press tab on my keyboard to complete the function. This function takes in two parameters. First serial number which is required and the return type which is optional. Usually the serial number has to be a proper date. If it is not a proper date, if you pass in a string value, it will not function as desired. So ensure that you pass in the proper date. Either use the date function or provide the value which is a proper date similar to the one listed here in the column B. In the return type, a number should be provided that will determine the start of the week. For example, by default, the weekday starts from Sunday and goes up to Saturday. It's optional. If you do not provide anything, by default, your weekday will start from Sunday and goes through Saturday. 1 to 7. You can pause the video here and take a look at the table on the screen to see the numbers that are provided. That will help you to decide on the return type values. You can also use the link in the video description to go to Microsoft website that will help you to learn more about return types. Let us go ahead and select B2 and without giving any return type I will simply close the bracket and press enter on my keyboard. Now this one will return me the number for that date. So that's the third day of that week. So if I am starting from Sunday Monday, Tuesday, that's the day. If I drag this down, I will have more weekdays generated. These numbers are not really going to help me. How do I know exactly the name of the day instead of having the number? I can simply press Ctrl 1 on my keyboard to bring the format cells window on my screen. And here I select custom and in the type I will type in D D D. D is for day. If you recall from your past learning, we have done this earlier. If I type in three Ds, it will give me a short form of the day. You can see in the sample. But if I type in another D, it will give me the full name of the day. See that? That's how we generate the weekday using the weekday function. These days listed here are visibly text, but actually they are numbers. Confused? Let me show you how. There are two functions in Excel to find out whether the given value is a text or not. So let me see. If I just go ahead type in is text and select this value, close the bracket. The moment I press enter, this function will return me either false or true. Looking at the cell value, I can simply say it has to be true. But look what happens. I press enter it says it is false it is not a text now let me try is it a number is number let me see whether it is a number or not close the bracket the moment I press enter I'm sure it is not a number it is a text it has to be text but visibly it is text actually it's not let me press enter and you see that it says true these functions will be discussed in detail in later lessons. For now, just understand that the weekday function generates a value which is purely a number. Even if you change the format to make it visible as a day, a text value, it is still the number. I hope it is clear to you. Try to practice this function in the practice zone files. In the practice zone 1.1, you have to simply find the day for these dates and in the practice zone 1.2 file you have more to do you have to generate 100 random numbers that is the order numbers 
if you do not know how to do it you will have to take a look at the past lessons we have discussed on generating random numbers and then you have to generate random dates between 1st Jan 2003 and today and based on those dates you need to find the date for those random dates in the next video we will learn how to make use of week num and ISO week num don't miss it it's a crucial lesson I hope you will do something great using these techniques in your Excel projects. To continue learning with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about the new videos. Thank you so much. Until next time.